Good afternoon people, welcome back to the channel and another video. As you may be able to tell, midday light, very bright, hardly any clouds in the sky. Not really ideal for shooting any film, I would say, but if I was to pick for these type of conditions, I probably would go black and white. And that just happens to suit today's photo session pretty well, because I'm trying out Kentmere 435mm. Load it up a roll into the Nikon FE. And I'm just going to drive around, see if anything appeals to me, stop, snap some photos. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll know uh, I don't really shoot black and white that much. I am by no means a black and white photographer. Um, so yeah, kind of interested to see how Kentmere 400 does. I know it was recently released or re-released in 120, but I haven't shot too much black and white, if any, through this camera, I don't think. So I'm kind of intrigued um, from what I've seen so far. I quite like the look of Kentmere, so interested to see how these shots turn out. And who knows, maybe it will be my go-to black and white in 35mm. Anyway, let's go for a little spin, see if I can get anything decent. <laughs> Obviously you have to get the camera, so I'm not actually leaving, but that's how it goes. Thank you. 
And that is pretty much that for a roll of Kentmere 400. Overall, I would say that roll of film went okay. Um, there's some photos in there that I'm reasonably happy with. Um, like I said at the start though, I don't really shoot too much black and white. I'm just a big fan of colour and I feel like the way I take photos and with my style of photography, if you want to call it that, yeah, it just fits more with using colour rather than black and white, or, or at least so far anyway. But I do also like black and white and it is nice on those moodier days in particular or in certain scenarios where it's quite hard to shoot colour you can still get away with shooting black and white and get those nice contrasty photos that I like and um, yeah it, it's just nice to try it black and white in conditions that aren't ideal for colour. I would say from the entire role this photo was probably my favourite. Um, I just like this scene. I, I try to photograph it from a few different angles. Uh, I also photographed this on the Ashika as well, that's in an upcoming video too. But yeah, I love scenes like this, that countryside look, as I've mentioned before. Um, yeah, quite like this one, I think I will go back in different lighting, because I'm not sure this is the perfect conditions, but yeah, quite like how this one turned out. And I also like the one I took on the bed with the light shining in on the Ashika as well. I just love little photos like that. Um, yeah, probably my two favourites from this session. I did say at the start that maybe Kentmere will be my go-to black and white film going forward. I don't think that will be the case. Um, I will probably try out some other black and white films. Um, I have used Fomapan and Elford HP5, but that was a medium format. Um, but I did prefer the look of those, so I'll probably try those out on 35mm. I actually have a roll of Fomapan um, already sitting in the fridge, so I'll probably try that out quite soon. And I feel like I might like it more than Kentmere and I'll probably like HP5 more than Kentmere too, at least from my experience with shooting it on medium format. Kentmere 400 was okay, I mean exposure wise and everything, pretty much all the photos turned out pretty well. Um, it just didn't really do it for me, I don't think. It could have been the conditions, but it, it's hard to tell and also I don't shoot black and white a lot, so it's hard to know. Um, I do know for the portraits, I wouldn't recommend it, at least from my experience with this role. Um, the skin tones, it wasn't too flattering on them, I don't think. They sort of turned out quite dull. Um, again, that could have just been how the photos were exposed, but I didn't really like the look of the portraits. Um, that was sort of my main takeaway from this role anyway. Um, so I probably wouldn't go for Kentmere 400 for portraits. I'd maybe choose HP5 um, like I did with the portrait video I did a while back because I quite like how it turned out. Um, I may try out Camp Mirror in medium format and maybe there's a slightly different look to it there but I don't think it will be my go-to on 35mm going forward. But anyway as always with these videos let me know did you like the photos what do you think of Camp Mirror and um, maybe which photo was your favourite from the session or if you've tried out Camp Mirror too let me know your thoughts. I don't think there's really much more I uh, wanted to say, so hopefully you enjoyed this one and maybe got some examples there of how Kentmere 400 looks on 35mm. Um, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up, maybe consider subscribing below. And um, as we always say, take it easy, don't be a stranger.